Hello everybody, today we will be making pork chops and some baked potatoes or mashed potatoes. And then we will be making some um, baked uh, beans. Yeah. Alright, so we've got our pork chops washed. We've washed our hands to make sure everything is sanitized. We have our pork chops washed. We are getting ready to season it now. Um, so once we get them all completely seasoned, we will throw them into the skillet with the oil that has been preheating on a low heat so that that way the oil doesn't burn too quickly and by the time we're done getting everything prepped and ready, uh, it'll be at temperature in order to cook the pork chops at the correct temperature. Oh, so then we're going to put all the seasoning on the top, like we just did. All right, y'all. So now we're getting ready to throw everything into the skillet. We've had it preheating. Make sure you get an adult. Do not try this. If you are a child, you will get badly, badly burned because of the splashing. And if it slips out of your hands, you will get hot oil all over yourself. And it will not end well. As you can see, from when I was a child, I have battle scars to prove it. All right, you guys. So we are in the process of getting everything ready for the mashed potatoes. We've got our bowl. Water in it. We are actually getting ready to put some butter in. Um, this one for us, since we're a pretty big family and always on the go, we actually do a lot of the uh, instant potatoes unless I'm home or my wife is home and we can actually do our potatoes from scratch. Which, me personally, I prefer from scratch because you can actually get a better taste. But unfortunately, we all work, we live in the real world, and sometimes you gotta just go with the quick stuff. So, unlike popular belief, when people try to cook pork chops, this is how they are supposed to look. This is the way they are supposed to come out. They are not supposed to come out looking black, looking gray, super thin, unless they're a thin cut. They're supposed to come out looking moist and juicy, just like that. Not all dry and crispy, because then you're just overcooking your pork chop. So always make sure your pork chop comes out looking juicy, nice, glistening color on it, and it is not hard for the love of Pete's sake. Cook your pork chops correctly, people. So we got our liquid with butter in it. You can clearly see the butter at the top. So now we're going to open the bag. And then we got a fork to the custard. So we're gonna open the bag and you guys see. You don't need it. to go all close. Yes, we do. Mm-hmm. Give me before you make a mess. Stir, 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 stir. I got the butter. And it smells like butter popcorn. Now, while he's doing that, we are going to stir it up. Stir, 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 you can see the potatoes coming in. The potatoes. See how good. Make sure you get it all mixed. Instant potatoes are. Uh huh. Put Nova back in the crate. These are the instant potatoes. Now we're going to put. Salt in it. Alright guys, so this is what the finished product looks like. We've got our mashed potatoes with bacon bits and cheese and some sour cream. We've got our beans and we got our beautiful piece of pork chop here. So again, make sure it looks like this. That is dinner for tonight, y'all. Stay tuned. If you like what you see so far, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. We have more videos on the way.